Uh, this is Essentials of Global Health, it's the first one at NTU, and probably the first one in these countries, even though I have been planning this for years since uh, I was heavily involved in the global health issues uh, in my career. And uh, fortunately, I got some uh, very good colleagues uh, coming back from the uh, United States, so finally we can uh, Make it true to have this course in, at NTU. So uh, today we will give you a brief uh, description of uh, how we want to do this course. And uh, for those who have already registered, uh, you definitely have the right to retain it. For those who are not in our list, and if after this uh, class you are still interested, and uh, we did some uh, preparations that, uh, yes, we can accommodate as many as we like, okay? So don't be worried about that. And um, first of all, I have to uh, do some serious introductions. My name is uh, Zhang Changchen. Uh, you can call me Professor Chen from uh, College of Public Health. Uh, I'm one of three instructors of this course. And uh, I just want to uh, give you some uh, very uh, brief themes of this uh, course is about. One is what is global health? You will learn from this course, okay? And then why it matters? Hopefully through these lectures, discussion, we can uh, have some uh, fruitful interactions and to come to a conclusion uh, global health does matters. And another thing is why now? Why you're taking this course now? And why this is so important now, globally. So this will be three themes that uh, uh, will come back once uh, again and again in this class. So uh, later on, I will let uh, two, the other two of our instructors to uh, give you their views of this global health and uh, this course. Then I'll introduce our TA, then uh, we'll run through some uh, interesting, hopefully interesting um, exercise. Then uh, we have some videos, and I will go through this uh, requirement of the course. Then uh, we will have another one hour to complete the registrations, etc. Because we do like to have our class form for officially by the end of the day and the next week, we can form groups and we can start our uh, class. So first, I will introduce uh, Yao Wen, yeah, Professor Zheng Yao Wen from our uh, Department of uh, Health Policy and uh, College of Public Health. Yao Wen. Okay. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So uh, my name is Zheng uh, Yao Wen. You can call me uh, Professor Yao Wen, because if you call me Professor Chen, it will be sounds very similar to another Professor Chen. <laughs> so I'm an associate professor uh, in Institute of Health Policy and Management, School of Public Health. And uh, I received my uh, bachelor's degree uh, from NTU, Department of Public Health. And then I have my master's degree uh, from Harvard School of Public Health, and also my doctorate degree in epidemiology from Harvard School of Public Health. And now I'm uh, teaching health policy and social epidemiology and also occupational health. So uh, it's very encouraging to see so many people are here. Uh, I bet uh, you are very interested in global health, but uh, we may all wonder what public uh, global health means and how to define the scope. So uh, if you have the, uh, read the New York Times articles provided by uh, Professor Chen, uh, which is uh, on our CBA, and uh, you will find that the uh, uh, different people define the global health uh, uh, very differently. And uh, people from different backgrounds, different uh, nationality, or uh, in different time define global health uh, very uh, differently. So in the past, uh, people will uh, consider pop, uh, global health as a study uh, to uh, study uh, the problems, the health problem in less developed countries. But nowadays, we know that all health issues are related to uh, global factors. 
And uh, my specialty is on um, social epidemiology, which is to study the distribution of disease uh, by the social structure and how social factors affect the disease pattern and how, to, how social factors affect um, uh, population health. So in this lecture, I will, I will be giving, uh, in this course, I will be giving two, two lectures. One uh, will be more related to my uh, uh, study area, which is uh, social inequality in health. And another lecture will be on the work-related health. So in the second lecture, I will talk about um, how um, our working condition has been changing in the globalized world and how the uh, work affects our health and also population health. So um, uh, my two lectures uh, are scheduled in April. So it's a very, uh, a great pleasure to work with Professor Chen and also our TAs. And um, as you may know that Professor Chen is a very experienced a teacher, and this is our first time um, uh, to organize uh, such a, a course, and I look forward to uh, working together with uh, the team and also with, with students. Thank you. Well, thank you, Yao Wen. So next time, you call him, call her the Yao Wen, Professor Yao Wen. Uh, Chen is me. <laughs> then uh, uh, the next one is uh, Professor Li Chen. Hi. Um, anybody know where it is? Machu Picchu? Yeah, uh, this is Machu Picchu in uh, Lima, I mean in Peru, and sort of the side benefits of doing global health when I visited uh, my partner in Lima. So uh, my name is Shen Hao Lin. Um, you can call me uh, Dr. Lin or Professor Lin. And um, uh, my background is in medicine, so uh, I'm actually a medical doctor trend in family medicine, but I, I became very interested in public health and global health. So I um, uh, also went to Harvard, study master and doctor for um, epidemiology, and I'm now a assistant professor in the Institute of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine of the Pu College of Public Health over the uh, medical campus. And I also jointly affiliate with the Infectious Disease Research and Education Center of NTU. So um, just to give you a very quick overview of my uh, research interest, I am doing study on um, the epidemiology of infectious diseases with a particular focus on tuberculosis. tuberculosis. Um, you, you hear about this term um, again and again in, the, in three weeks. And so in brief, I am, have been studying the determinants. You also hear about determinants again and again, and risk factors of tuberculosis. Why people get sick, how people get sick, and in particular, how, why only poor people get sick from tuberculosis. And uh, if we know better about this link, can we do any intervention to prevent or to minimize the uh, consequences of infectious diseases in especially low-income countries? And another research area of my interest is the how to um, assess the impact or potential role of a new technology or new idea. For example, the new diagnostic tools of um, infectious diseases in order to help better control the disease. And so just about the course, um, I'm actually very excited about this course. Um, in fact, I'm very jealous of you that you'll be able to take this course because um, about 15 years ago when I was like you, um, a college student, I was like walking in the campus and with some interest in global health, but there was no such a course or any formal program on global health at NTU at that time. And thanks to Professor Chen, it's now the first time that we have this um, very exciting course and give you a very good overview of global health. For example, 15 years ago, when I, when I thought about global health, uh, the only thing I can imagine is that you know people go to developing countries and treating uh, people for infectious diseases and that's it. But you'll, you'll, you'll see very soon that global health is, is much more than that. And, and we're going to bring you a, a very different aspect and very different perspectives of all kinds of issues of global health. Um, 
Lastly, um, I'm, I encourage you to discuss with us and with your, uh, with your colleagues and classmates, either during the class and after the class. So if you have, have any question or any, any, anything you want to discuss with me, you can feel free to email me. And also, uh, given the variety of students, you have, we have very different students from very different disciplines and from different countries. Um, so make sure you, you talk to us and talk to your colleagues uh, after class. And you'll find you, you can learn a lot from, these, from your colleagues, maybe more than you can learn from us. Thank you. Thank you, Sanger, for your about, wonderful. You know, it's about science, right? And uh, technology. And uh, dedicated people and the social organizers, you know, you. So everybody is involved. This is uh, all about, and in the future, in our the future course, we will give you some short videos to show you some uh, specific uh, topics that I, we think will have give you a very uh, concrete and concise descriptions of what uh, specific global health issue is about. But the essence of that is you have to have a dedicated people and uh, with good knowledge and uh, good organizations, uh, skills, and strong heart to, 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 to overcome all the obstacles to make uh, good things happen. This all about. And uh, so, that, uh, so what kind of global health knowledge you need? Right? In the video, you, some of you may not be familiar with some of the terms medical terms, but don't worry about it. In our uh, discussions, sessions, after two hours, in uh, spread out um, sessions, uh, you can uh, ask PAs to clarify some of the technical terms. Medical terms, public health terms, and uh, uh, some of concepts, okay? And uh, hopefully after this course, you will know some of these terms, like uh, uh, which country is not on the top 10 highest expectancy days. Can you push your button? And so where can we see the statistics? Okay. Huh? So you will know what life expectancy is about. Anyone know life expectancy? I know there are some students from public health. Can you raise your hand? What is it about? How about you? How about you? It's about life. Okay. So, yep. It's uh, a measure of how long a population can live. It's a statistics. It's not an individual, it's a statistical population. When we talk about population, we mean a group of people. Like in a country, we have about 23 million people and we calculate how long this uh, population can last uh, at the day of population. So, it's done yet? No? But anyone want to say which country is not on the top 10 days? U.S.? So which is correct? Uh, second. U.S., okay. So for those who uh, vote for U.S., your knowledge of global health is, uh, is good. For those who are not, yeah, probably you, you eat too much American, uh, uh, American meat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Too many doctor meat, right? That's, uh, <laughs> and uh, next question is, how big is the gap between highest and lowest tax rates among countries worldwide? Huh? Inequality, the gap between rich and poorest 
for your face and the poorest countries, this kind of inequality that uh, Professor Yawen is going to talk about, this, uh, this global health about, about inequality. This is quite global health matters, you know. Why? Uh, some babies born today, they have different futures that we are going to uh, uh, discuss in our talk. Okay? Another one? That's another one. So why the major determinant of health? It should be number two, okay? Minute, uh, number, number, yeah, number two, Millennium's uh, Development Goals, okay? It's uh, championed by a uh, professor at Columbia University, Jeffrey Sachs. So he persuaded the United Nations to put these as goals. So he guides international policies on development. Okay, then uh, we will talk about these kind of goals, like, uh, Erratic uh, extreme poverty and hunger, you know, achieve universal primary care education, promote gender equity and empower women, reduce child mortality, etc. So these are eight goals by by setting by uh, UN when the whole world entered the 21st century. Right, that's uh, very important, and uh, we are all living in the 21st century. And, uh, both possibly we will die in 21st century and these are our, our, our goals of doing uh, everything, making money and make yourself happy and helping people, everything could be about these eight goals. Okay. Last one, which organization is not a major global health actor? <laughs> World Health Organization, World Trade Organization, World Bank, MS3 International, Rockefeller Foundation. Now, the, the, the answer should be four, right? AI. So, organization, international non-governmental organizations, charity organization, you will learn from our course, like Bill Gates Foundations. There's many rich people who donated their oils for global health, and they are carrying this oil means of people around the world. So, you will know about this. This is what we are trying to uh, convey to you, okay? 